welcome back to the Chan Chan. In today's video, I can't believe that I'm saying this, but we're doing another freaking haul video today. Did I just do a haul video like two videos ago or something? I think it was like two. So yesterday, you know, several mailmen came over to my house, not at the same time, mind you. You know, they all came, they all came over one at a time. But uh, but yeah, I had some mailmen over here the other day and they just kept bringing me more packages. I couldn't believe the amount of things that I got yesterday. And I'm just like, oh, I wanna put everything on my shelf. But as I said in the last haul video, I like to share everything with you first, you know, before it goes in here. It's kind of like giving, asking for permission. Like, can I please put this in my collection? And then you're all like, yes, now you can. I know that a lot of people don't like the haul videos. They see it like as an adult show and tell, like, look what I got. And everyone's like, yeah, it's great. I'm so happy for you. But I like to see it as uh, like, look what you can get. Do you want it? Those are the comments, you know, that make me the most happy when I show you something from a haul video or a review and you're like, on eBay right now, just got it. And it's fun because I'm technically kind of a part of your collection. So I'm starting off little here. Let's, let's start little, kind of little, let's work our way up a little bit. Um, but I saw these and I thought these were so freaking cool. So I got these off of eBay and I think I ended up paying like uh, $15 US each for these. A mashup, it's a clash. It's a witch of Pokemon and Alien. So it's these Xenomorph Pikachus. And it's so cool because it's got that transparent skull up here and you can actually see the skull on the inside. So there's the classic kind of yellow Pikachu. Oh, oh, SpaghettiOs. And no, these are not really bad in a good average because this one actually has a crack, it has like a crack scratch on it. I got two Pikachus with two cracks. Okay, so. Everyone just please be aware that you're probably gonna get a crack. It's like in exactly the same place. And and I actually got this from two different sellers. Really cool concept, you know, but these are not in the greatest condition. This one has like some kind of marks and paint smudges on the skull itself. And then these guys obviously have that crack there on the very top of the head. So I guess I'll contact the seller, um, the sellers, cause these were both different sellers and be like, hey, yeah, there's a crack. Can I maybe get my money back or maybe at least get half back or something? I actually do have another alien item or aliens in this case. Um, this is the Alien Queen watch by Hope. Five function quartz watch, battery included, one year warranty. I'm sure that's gone now. Um, tail wraps around your wrist and a movable head. How cool is that? That, you know, that long tail is like the uh, wristband, like the watch band. Um, for your watch. Oh man, I keep like messing this bubble up. It looks like on the back it says the mouth is articulated, but looking at this, it looks like the mouth is like shut tight. Could you imagine having this in elementary school? I'm sure the teacher would like send a note home with you to your parents saying, can you please keep that terrifying watch out of my classroom, please? So I got this as a local pickup for about $20 Canadian, which I think was a pretty fair deal. This is basically what they go on uh, online or anywhere from like nine to $20 US plus shipping. So I think I got a really good deal. So next up, I grabbed this never ending story rock biter off of eBay. And I think I ended up paying like 90, $100 US for this guy. These rock biters are very pricey online on eBay. And like I said in my last video, there is someone that is selling about three versions of the rock biter. And this is one of them. So this is like a bootleg from Mexico and it's one of the cooler looking bootlegs. It's also one of the largest. So if you guys remember from my last video I picked up this guy this one obviously is the most screen accurate it's the most you know closest depiction of the rock biter in the movie and this guy you know he he, he doesn't really look he kind of looks like him I guess but the thing that I really liked about him is that he was so big he was so big and he was so unique looking so I know that I wanted to have both of these guys in my collection so finally this guy arrived you can definitely tell that there's like some foam in the middle here and um, this guy is more like kind of hard rubber and you can hear you can hear that air kind of escaping when you squeeze it. And on the bottom is like this big felt pad and you can see all the glue spattered on there. So um, Never Ending Story is so notorious for their bootlegs. You know, there's so many bootleg toys out there, but definitely out of all the bootlegs, this is by far my favorite one. It's the one of the most sought after. And this guy was just really cool as well. Kind of reminds me of like a giant toad. Like look at the back, it looks like this big 
toad-esque kind of shape. I know that there are a lot of rock biters on eBay right now, but once those are gone, you're probably not gonna see them for a while. So if you are interested in the Neverending Story, that's my tip. Do, 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 do! It is one of my holy grails. So this is the Mega Talking Ripster. It's 11 inches tall, and this was actually a mail away exclusive available for a limited time back in 1994. And on the back here, it actually has these buttons. There's four buttons and he actually speaks. So let's see if he's working. <sighs> So it's just like a chomp and a burp. Shark attack. Shark attack. Shark attack. Jawsome. Jawsome. Mmm, lunch. Mmm, lunch. Look how big this guy is compared to the normal Street Sharks line of toys. Like, look at that. This guy's so tiny. It looks like a little minnow compared to this jumbo guy. He's made out of that classic kind of rubbery material um, that all the toy line is made out of. His arms um, do move like this, these giant meaty muscular veiny arms. Um, and then also, of course, you know, his lower half here is all hard plastic. So that mouth is just so impressive. Look at all the detail in there. I mean, look at the tongue. Look at the texturing on the tongue and the detailing, you know, of the teeth and everything. Really, really cool. These guys are pretty rare, but you do see them on eBay, I'd say like, at least once a month, there's one on eBay for sure, averaging about $400 US, um, depending on the condition and such, of course. But you know, when all said and done with import fees, you know, if you're not in the US um, and also um, shipping and such, you're looking at close to $500 US, which is insane for these figures. And when you are getting these figures in particular, you wanna make sure obviously that the sound box is working. So this guy is definitely working for sure. Two other things, you wanna look at the paint rub on them because um, especially this two-tone area where the two colors collide, where worlds collide, um, you're gonna have some paint rub on here generally. So you just wanna make sure it's as pristine as possible if you are gonna be, you know, shoveling out a lot of money for this guy. And also, this thing is usually always missing, but it is the back fin. It is that dorsal fin up top. And that fin is used to kind of um, close his mouth up. So in the resting position, his mouth is open and to close it, to kind of chomp it, you put push the fin up. So there's supposed to be a giant dorsal fin here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna grab some like um, clay or something and just sculpt it, you know, the size of the fin and I'll get a, like an exact paint match of the color. Um, so then it'll look like it's a complete figure. No one will know, you know, unless you really look at it close up. So I actually got this guy along with three other items in a trade deal that I did with somebody. And in that trade deal, I also gave like some duplicates, like my never ending story bat. That thing's very, very, very rare, but I had two and I didn't, didn't need two. So I included that in the trade and um, I will show you the other things that I got uh, in that trade. So I got Ripster, Mega Top King Ripster that works. See, it doesn't have a fin, but he works. So like I said, I got the Ripster. I got these two Lord of the Rings figure box sets along with this sealed Velociraptor from the Lost World Jurassic Park. So this is the Kings of Middle Earth box set. And it's really cool because it is kind of like the major kings and lords in Lord of the Rings, like Prince Isildur, who cut off the ring off of Sauron, um, and King Elendil, who is actually Isildur's dad. And then there's King Theoden of Rohan. There's Aragorn, King of Gondor. There is the King of the Dead, which is a really cool figure. I believe that one is Glow in the Dark. And there's also the Witch King, who is one of my all-time favorites. I love, love all the evil characters in Lord of the Rings. The Mouth of Sauron character is a really cool one um, as well. In this box set, we have King Elendil, we have Sauron, and we have King Gilgalad. Gilgalad. Um, so this guy was obviously the leader of the men. This guy was the leader of elves. It was, you know, the last alliance in elves and men that that we're trying to defeat Sauron. And so this box set is called Battle of the Last Alliance, the defeat of Sauron. And of course we have that really cool Sauron figure there in the middle. Oh, he's such a cool character. Really, really is. He's so scary too. I am really looking forward to that new Amazon Prime series, that Lord of the Rings series coming out. And um, you know, with that, I hope is a whole new line of toys that comes out. And I hope that they're as good as these Toy Biz figures were. The only thing that sucks with these Toy Biz figures is that their weapons were really prone to bending. Like they just naturally just start to bend and curve due to the material that was used. So, you know, I just, I really hope that they live up to these Toy Biz figures because this was a fantastic line. And then the last item in that Ripster trade lot was actually this 1997 Hasbro Velociraptor hatchling. And um, I love the hatchling figures. I think they're so unique. I love the way they're displayed in these test tubes and they kind of have like laboratory, um, like a laboratory background in, in there. There's just fantastic sculpt work and paint work on these little hatchlings. They're so detailed for 
this, you know, small kind of little figure. And um, I just absolutely love these and their eyes look so realistic to me as well. Very, very cool figure. So it's nice to finally have this Raptor that I didn't have, this baby Velociraptor. So that was that lot. And I actually had a shirt come in the mail. This actually came at the perfect time. I should actually be wearing this right now. This is a uh, Lord of the Rings Tree of Gondor shirt. Everyone always asks me where I get my t-shirts from. I have so many freaking amazing nerdy t-shirts. I love, you know, collecting t-shirts, especially, you know, ones that I can actually wear. And it's really hard because a lot of the t-shirts out there that I want, they only make them in men's sizes. So it's always hit and miss. It's like, am I an extra small? Am I a small? I don't know. So thankfully this one fit. This is the Tree of Gondor from the Lord of the Rings. And I actually don't have any Lord of the Rings t-shirts until now, you know? So I wanted to add this to the drobe. That's the cool way of saying wardrobe. I don't know, I just kind of made that up. So if, if, if it's not a word, let's let's make that a word. Okay, so next item, next items. You remember I just showed you guys this Lost World Jurassic Park Velociraptor hatchling? And look at all of these eggies. These three are actually the complete set of the Jurassic Park 3 uh, hatchlings. And these, these guys are exactly the same and they go with the Lost World. And I also have um, the T-Rex as well from this line. So I have like the complete set of Lost World and um, Jurassic Park 3 hatchlings. So the really hard thing to get is the original Jurassic Park hatchlings. They actually came in these cardboard boxes. There is a Velociraptor and there is a Triceratops and they're kind of painted differently. So I'm always gonna look out for those guys. Red Velociraptor. We have this blue Triceratops and we have this, oh come on, and we have this green T-Rex. So the cool thing about these guys, you know, not only are they actually electronic and make sounds, but they have a more vibrant and kind of saturated paint job. And they also have these really cool eyes, things here where you can complete the circuit with your finger. So if you do that, and let's do the Triceratops. Triceratops also needs battery change. Again, they all need battery changes, but this one I think is the best. And that is the little baby T-Rex. And as you can see here, it kind of has like that bandage wrap. It's the injured little juvenile T-Rex. So they just covered that up. They didn't even like, um, they didn't like show the band-aid that a band-aid was there. They just painted over it. So really cool green paint job on this guy. And the thing I like a lot is that this Triceratops has such cool glowing kind of blue eyes. They're very, very, very pretty, you know, compared to the Lost Worlds. Um, one. So if you can do a little comparison on these, you can see there's obviously a different paint job, exactly, exactly the same sculpt, but just different paint job, a uh, little more vibrant, a little more saturated, a little more detail, but same sculpt and everything. And um, also they change the eyes. They change the eyes around as well. Because they actually also have um, a little hole at the bottom of the egg. So when you put this guy down like this, you can actually kind of press it and he'll make the sound as well. So you don't have to open the whole egg. So for these three hatchlings, I paid about $100 US on eBay for these guys, which is actually a really good deal because these hatchlings are getting so freaking expensive. Like they really, really are. And like, if you wanted to get this guy right now, this sealed guy, it's like 150 to like $200 for him. Like it's pretty crazy. So I actually got these on a really good deal. I got these on auction and I paid $24 for both of these together. It just sucks because one of them is missing the front shell piece, but I mean, who cares? Because they're so freaking cute. Okay. Okay, so we have three more items left. Two of them are particularly, two of them are particularly, whoa! There's two things that are Lord of the Rings and one thing is Jurassic Park. Well, Lost World Jurassic Park to be exact. So um, this thing, um, it's from Lord of the Rings and it is a deluxe fell beast. This is a fell beast here, this uh, little creature, this kind of wyvern-like dragon. Sauron bred these guys uh, to serve uh, as beasts for his lieutenants to ride, his his ring wraiths, his Nazgul, his dark riders, his black riders. Man, those guys had a lot of names. But uh, there he is on top here, the ring wraith up top, and he's kind of got his hands and kind of like this stirrupy holding position. And I believe this guy was supposed to also come with a sword if I'm not mistaken. So he is missing his sword, but you know, in place of his sword, you can just put his hands through this little rein here. I was able to get this um, used second hand for like $70 Canadian, I believe. It's got a lot of really nice detail on it for sure. It's got articulated wings, you know, that can go side to side, kind of like this. They kind of have a little bit of give if you want to kind of move it like this and like this. And also you can move them up and down like this to suit your fancy and whatever angle you want them at. The wings are so cool. I love all the details on these. There's like little rips and tears and there's so much texture and veins and little bumps. Love, love the wings on here. And also his body has really nice scale detail as well. And look at that head. I love how that tongue is out. He's like, 
bah! so it looks like he's making you know that that sound he's calling for the ring he's he wants his master to find the ring but this is gonna look so sick like flying around the room i'm gonna definitely hang this up for sure i don't have the greatest track record hanging things up but uh i learned my lessons lessons were learned things were broken but uh i learned from it so this here <gasps> Clever girl. So this here is a tiger velociraptor from the Lost World Jurassic Park. It is a mask, believe it or not. I don't know how the hell you're supposed to wear this thing, but this is a mask and tiger velociraptor is my favorite velociraptor color scheme out of all the velociraptors in the Jurassic Park franchise. I just love that color scheme. It's so, it's so cool. Um, so this is a giant mask that I got um, on a used site and I had to pay to get this shipped in. And um, I all said and done, all said and done, shipping, everything. This was $150 Canadian, which I think was was actually a really good deal. It's in very nice condition. Nothing's like breaking off of it. There's no crazy paint rub or anything. It's a very hardy mask. It's very heavy because it's full of a lot of um, papers and foam right now to give it a little bit of shape. This is probably the closest thing that you'll get to having like a real dinosaur in your house. Apart from having a statue, and apart from having like a reptile in your house, but <laughs> like this is the next best thing. The texturing, the sculpt work and the detail on this are just phenomenal. Like look at all these little grooves, the sculpt details, the bumps, there's like little dimples and everything all over this. It's a really, really well done. And even the paint job on here is pretty fantastic. And like, look at this eye. Look how scary that looks. It's so cool. It's like my own little pet Velociraptor. I freaking love, love this. So it's got that official JP stamp here and it says, if I can make this out, it says um, Raptor Jurassic Park Universal City Studios something something or other and i'm assuming this is probably gonna say like 1996 or 1997 on it depending you know when it was made because the tiger velociraptor was obviously in lost world jurassic park and like look at the teeth on here too like whoo they're sharp and in here you can see like some foam padding in there and everything i don't want to get my makeup on the inside of this but i will just for science try to kind of put this on a little bit Can you imagine going grocery shopping like this <laughs> gotta admit this is pretty freaking sweet okay everybody congratulations for making it this far and now we come to the final item uh yeah and it's a good thing i'm wearing my gondor shirt because it is lord of the rings themed oh you might not be able to see anything because of crazy glare let me remove this glass from the hand. So this is Sauron's gauntlet and he actually has the one ring right here on his finger. This thing's very heavy by the way. And when that little bell jar, like a little glass topper on here is on here, it's very heavy. Look at all the designs, like the little leather kind of work. Um, there's a buckle on the ground, on the bottom there. There's all these like little studs and ties. Oh, it's just so cool. And I absolutely love this knuckle area so much. It looks like, you know, Sauron's helmet as well. So on the bottom here is a bunch of writing. I believe it's exactly kind of what's written on the ring. And um, on here is a little plate and it says Lord of the Rings Gauntlet of Sauron. Limited edition, one of 3,000. So let me put this here and I've never taken this off yet. But let's see what happens. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. I see. So, oh, you can, you can pose it, but I like the way it was posed. So let me not, I don't want to move things around too much. Um, made in India, limited edition, one of 3000, number 0770. So we have a number 770. How awesome is that? So I believe this is from a company called United Cutlery. They did a lot of um, like masks and weapons and such. And I actually didn't know that they had this Sauron gauntlet. So, uh, such a cool piece for sure. So I ended up seeing this on a used site that was not in my city. It was like uh, an hour and a half away. Um, and when I saw it, I was like, I have to have this. So the person had it priced at a thousand dollars Canadian. No way in hell am I paying a thousand dollars for it. No way am I paying five hundred dollars for it. Obviously, it's worth a lot of money. You know, it's definitely worth you know the thousand dollars Canadian and such. But I am very frugal. I'm very cheap. I'm very thrifty. I'm very smart with my money. I wait for things. 
things where I barter and stuff. And I offered him about 350 Canadian dollars and he said yes. He was like totally okay with that. He's like, yeah, sure, that's fine. So it just sounds like he just kind of wanted to get rid of it. He wanted like an okay price. So he didn't like come back to me with a barter. He wasn't like, oh, you know, an extra 50 or an extra 100. Like he was okay with that. I was just ecstatic to have this. So I'm so happy to add this to the collection. You guys know I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan. So how cool is it to actually have, you know, like the one ring and the hand of Sauron, you know, in your collection. So that is my haul, everybody. It is very awkward holding holding this giant Velociraptor head. Um, so we had everything from, you know, Pokemon, Alien, Street Sharks, Jurassic Park to Lord of the Rings in this haul. And definitely, like I said, it is the year of quality over quantity. Definitely some holy grails for sure, like this Rip shirt. And I mean, how cool is this hand? Look at that. Mask. Oh, my arm is getting very, very tired very fast. So in the comments down below, I'd love to know what your favorite item was in this haul. It's so hard for me to pick because there's such really cool things in here from some of my favorite franchises. So in the comments down below, love to know what your favorite item was. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come out with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you all so much for watching and stay legendary. Bye -bye.